Hey, how's it going everybody? Nutty New here, and we're here for another tutorial video. In this video, if you're having issues starting up your bike, um, this is pertaining to the 2005 CBR, or um, any of the CBR600RR from the 03 to the 0809. Um, I'm just going to show you where to troubleshoot and what to look for if your bike is not starting. So um, I won't demonstrate anything, but I will show you where to look. So let's say your bike is not starting. Um, here are some of the things you might want to check. Make sure your kill switch is on. So this is off. Make sure it's on so the bike will turn on. If that's on, you also want to make sure you're in neutral, which is obviously. Make sure you're in neutral. And then make sure your battery is good. This is where your battery is located. There's also a few fuses in here. There's a 30 amp fuse down there. You also want to make sure you check that out. Let's say if you check all that out and it's still not working. Next thing you also want to make sure is when you turn on your bike, you should hear your fuel tank. There's going to be a little buzz, a little tzzz, And that's the fuel pump priming. If the fuel pump isn't priming, next thing you want to look down to <coughs> is on the left side. There's a relay. I believe this is the fuel pump relay, the one far nearest to the engine. You want to make sure those relays are good. And the one thing you can do that is you can switch them around uh, with the other relays and make sure those are working out. If your fuel pump is good, <coughs> um, some of the other things you also want to make sure is your spark plug is good and make sure your air filter is good. Air filter is inside of here and your spark plugs coils are down there. And then the next thing you also want to make sure that's good is also <coughs> on the left side on the 2005 and 2006. Right on the left side, you see all these green wires right here? That's where the main ground box goes to. We call it the yellow box. And you can't really see it, but once you uh, once you untape everything out. Let's see if I can get a focus there. Once you... Once you untape everything out, yellow box, um, check that yellow box, and those are all your ground wires. Make sure nothing is burnt, because that has, has been that has happened to me before where the wires are all burnt, and it didn't have a good ground connection. Um, some other things you want to make sure, and you know, make sure your kickstand is up, your kickstand switch, make sure your kill switch is good. Um, make sure your safety clutch switch is good if you're having an issue starting up your bike. And then really, that's pretty much much it. If your bike is still cranking and it's not starting, um, if somebody has done any engine work to the side of your, the right side of your bike, which has happened to me before, what they may have done is where the starter, this is the starter, there's a gear that goes in there, there's a star bit gear that turns the engine. And if somebody has been working on your, um, let's say your clutch or on this side of the engine where they took it off, that gear might not be in place with the other gears and that's why it might not be cranking up the engine so make sure you check that out too that's the last thing you want to do um and then the last thing is you know if your fuel pump is really bad there's a few ways to check out your fuel pump make sure if it's working or not but if your fuel pump is really bad then you might have to replace your fuel pump and again there is a way of troubleshooting make sure your pump fuel pump is good and most of the time if your fuel pump is good the bike will still start, but when you get to high RPM, it's going to sputter. And I do have a video of my bike doing that where it is the fuel pump where when you rev the bike, the bike wants to sputter and it just feels like it's bogging out. Boom, 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 boom. So, hope this video is helpful. And once again, we'll go over one time. Your kill switch, your kickstand, all your relays is right here. All your fuses is in this right, right left side box. Make sure you check your fuses. And then on top of that, you want to make sure you check the ground boxes. And then these are all the other fuses. Your battery fuses, your uh, your relays and stuff like that. There's also a few fuses down here. You want to make sure you check all those spots. If you have those, those should be your... If you get those fixed, you know, your bike should be running. And again, once again, with all engines and stuff like that, you want to make sure you have uh, fuel, spark, and air. So if you don't have those three, something's going on. So you want to trace all that down, see where, where the issue may be at. Um, and again, if I'm missing something, please let me know. Write me down in the comment. Like I said, we can add it into this video. But I hope this video has been helpful. Helpful. And if you guys got any questions, um, drop me a message or uh, leave me a comment. Thank you.